Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday, it is rainy, it is gloomy outside, but what is new? Y'all probably hear my background. That's not you're watching his iPad, so don't mind that. I'm trying to get into this apple pie today because it's been a week and a half, almost two weeks, and I gotta get rid of these apples. I kinda have an idea of what I'm doing, but it is a two-step process. I do have to make the crust first, but I don't have to like bake the crust down. With apple pies and pies that have more of like a filling, you could just place the crust in the pan that you're making it in and then put the filling in there and just like push the whole thing in the oven where other pies, you kind of have to bake down the crust till it's like really hard. So I don't have to do that, but it's still gonna be a two-step process and we are gonna see how this comes out because <laughs> You know I'm like a new top chef around here, whatever. So that's number one. And then my dad bought home some seafood last night. Salmon, like the little cut pieces of salmon. And then he bought home some stuffed flounder. So I think I'm gonna pop that in the oven later on in this evening. But that's what we're getting into today. We're gonna get into this this apple pie because I'm a little excited. Like I've never been an apple pie fan but I might be a new one today. So I will get back up with y'all in a little bit. All right, y'all, so we're starting this apple pie process. First, I'm taking two sticks of butter and I'm cutting them both into cubes and I'm gonna place one of them in the refrigerator and I'm gonna be working with the other one. Okay, so this is actually the part for the pie crust and the top layer of the cake. I don't think I mentioned that, but I had to get a mixing bowl and add one and a half cups of flour, a tablespoon of sugar, and a table, no, a teaspoon of salt. And I had to add the butter in there and mix it all together and pretty much break up the butter in the flour. So here's the thing. There's two ways you can do this. You can do it by hand or you can do it by with a food processor. I started off by hand as you see, but then I did switch to the food processor. That kind of helped, but I ended up having to go back to the bowl and kind of just breaking up the bigger, bigger pieces of butter by hand. So you gotta really have clean hands, especially if you have long nails like me, because it's definitely gonna get in your nails. So once I finished, I had to go back to the remaining butter, add that in and also add another cup and a half of flour and do pretty much the same process with the food processor and then back to my hands and I just pretty much had to bring it to this grainy consistency so here's the fun part so I had to add a quarter cup of water and use the palm of my hands to knead the dough together so it's kind of like a press and flip kind of technique you could do this in a mixing bowl or if you have like a baking sheet you can use the baking sheet to help you flip the dough but you basically just have to knead the dough together into a ball and then once you get it in the ball you want to take if you have parchment paper you can take parchment paper and kind of just wrap them together tightly and then place it in the fridge now you do want to cut the dough in half before you do this so you want to have two pieces because one is going to be your crust and the other one is going to be the top layer so while i had that sitting in the fridge for about 30 minutes i gathered all my apples and i started to peel and slice them so you want to make sure that you're slicing them consistently because if you don't then they're not going to bake consistently and once I finished slicing the apples, I added some lemon juice on there to prevent it from oxidizing and turning brown because we don't want that either. And I started on my filling sauce. So I'm gonna need another stick of butter and about three tablespoons of flour. I'm placing that in a saucepan and I'm gonna let the butter melt down and I'm gonna let it simmer and I'm gonna whisk it continuously as it simmers. Then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of water and then a cup of sugar. I let it come to a boil, I reduce the heat, and then I let it simmer there for about two or three minutes. And then you wanna look for this like light caramel saucy consistency. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get back to the apples. I think I added maybe a tablespoon or two of sugar. Sometimes people use like a half a cup, but since I added sugar to the filling, I didn't wanna add too much to the apples. And then I added some spices, some nutmeg, some cinnamon. I know some people even add cloves, but I think you wanna just add like a pinch of cloves if you do add that. And some people add a little bit of flour to it to help like absorb that sugar once it starts to bake. I only added a little bit and I pretty much added the sauce and then I kind of mixed everything together. So by the time I finished all of this, the dough was ready. I had took it out of the refrigerator for about 10 minutes before I started to do any rolling. And I just prepared my counter to roll out my dough, which you just want to add flour to your, any whatever surface you're using. I'm using my counter. So just make sure if you're using your counter top to thoroughly clean it down. You don't want anything on there because you have to place the flour on there and you don't want the dough to stick to the surface at all no sticking it's an absolute no no and you should also add some flour to your rolling pin so that the dough doesn't stick to the pin either also this is the time to preheat your oven at 425 almost forgot about that but i did preheat my oven around the time i was rolling out my dough so now i'm just rolling out my dough i took one half of the dough and i placed it on the counter and i just started kneading it out well rolling it out and I try to make it as round as possible. So you want to kind of do it in all directions. And it was about a quarter of an inch thick. And then once you finish with that, you want to just take your dough and roll it on to your rolling pin. And then you want to take that and transfer it to your pie dish, which you're going to bake the actual pie in. Okay, so from my understanding, you cannot like press the dough into the pan you can mold it in but you don't want to press it in because it's gonna end up sticking which we don't want but you do want to kind of just take your hand and gently go around so it'll kind of like fall in place in the pan so after that i just cut off all the excess dough that was hanging over the side of the dish and i added it in the spots that i needed to because there were a couple little negative spots there that i needed some dough for my crust and then I just added my apples in there. So after I added the apples, I just started working on the other dough, rolling that out. And then I don't have a pizza cutter, which I need to get one because I also be making pizza too. But I just took a regular knife and just carefully cut strips, just enough to cover the pie. I think it was about maybe 10 strips I cut. And I basically placed it over the pie so I don't know exactly what you call this pattern but basically you lift up every other strip and then you place one and then you go back you put those down you lift up the other strips and then you I, I, I don't know what you call it but you can see what I'm doing here So I just cut off the excess that was hanging over the edge and then I just incorporated that into the edge of the pie. And then I just pinched the edges together. I cracked an egg and beat it with a whisk. And then what you do is you just take a brush or like I have a silicone brush and I pretty much just brushed it over the top of the pie and this is what's gonna give it that really golden brown look. And then I just placed it in the oven. So since the oven is already preheated to 425, you wanna bake it for about 20 minutes and then you wanna turn the heat down to about 375, I think it was, and then bake it for like another 45 to 50 minutes. And if you notice that the crust is starting to brown or get golden a little too fast, you can just like cover it with aluminum foil, but you don't have to cover it really tight. You could just like do like a loose covering. And that was it. This pie came out so good. I wasn't expecting it to be this good because it was my first time, but 
I think I have unlocked a new talent for myself because I am super proud of me right now. And then here was the dinner that I cooked also later on in the evening. So I just gave y'all a little bit of that. But my pie came out so good. Saturday night's dinner and dessert was top tier. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day. And did y'all see my apple pie? Like, it came out so good. And it tastes so good. My grandmother was like, I'm not going to be able to do it a second time around. I was like, why? I got everything written down. Like, have a little bit more faith in me. Like, what? <laughs> but, yeah, it came out really good. The dinner was good. I didn't really like the stuffed tilapia a little bit too much. I don't know. I don't know if it was like, I can't describe it. I want to say it was like a tarty kind of taste. I know it was like, it was stuffed with tuna, but I don't know if they like, put like pickle juice or something in there i don't really like my stuffed anything especially seafood like that i rather have like a cream of mushroom kind of taste maybe with like some crab meat or something like that that's how i like my like stuffed any type of thing but this was kind of like on the more pickly tangy side so uh, it was okay it was good for somebody it just wasn't my thing but overall dinner was great oh my god What's the matter? Why would you want to eat your pancake upstairs? Yeah, anyways. So everything came out really good. Like dinner was dinner was it last night. So today we are going to um what they call the pumpkin blaze in Long Island and basically it's a big jack-o'-lantern display of like 7,000 pumpkins. I think they said it's like 12 people that do it so that's crazy to me because it's like when do y'all start doing these things? 7,000 pumpkins? 12 people? That's amazing. That's immaculate. Like I've never heard of. But we're going to be doing that later on this evening so basically I got to do my laundry and I have to cook early today and yeah it's already almost 12 30 and i have not started anything so <laughs> we got to get this ball rolling because i'm already like running behind time Oh, pumpkin Pinocchio. <laughs> I'm weak. Pumpkin Pinocchio. Look at the um the ambulance and the police car now, yeah? I 
look at these pumpkin I'll be taking pictures. Lights. Excuse me, Big Jim. Big Jim, okay? Okay, I got you. Hey y'all, so it is the next day. It is Monday. Papa had to stay home from school today again, unfortunately. Last Monday, he had to stay home because he was sneezing and he had a lot of mucus and just, and I think this is really like the back end of his cold because he kind of developed this really hard cough, maybe like Saturday evening. So I could not send him to school like that. Like poor thing, he barely can even get the words out his mouth. So I had to run out to Target this morning and pick up some cough medicine for him and a couple other things. So my poor baby, he always like gets sick fast or he's always like the first one to get sick and Kyra was not like that I think Kyra was maybe a little over a year the first time she got sick and I remember I think it was New Year's and was one of the coldest New Year's to date I was sick and my friends was like oh my god girl you gotta come out please come out ah, 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 ah. and I ain't want to go out I'm like I'm sick I really don't want to go out okay fine whatever went to some spot if I'm not mistaken and I remember, it was in Harlem. Had a blast. Liquor got in me. I ain't know I was sick no more. Until the next morning when I had to go to work while early. First of all, if I'm, if I can remember, I don't think I got home till like six o'clock. Went to the shower, got dressed, went to work for eight o'clock. And back then I had like half shifts. So I think it was like an eight to 12. And then, yeah, I just could not get through it. And I think they wanted me to stay like until five o'clock and I was like, I'm clocking out at 11.59, peace. So that time Kyra had got sick because I was totally out of it. Like I remember I came home and I just laid on the dining room floor on this mat that we had and she was crawling all over me in my face and whatever and I remember she got sick and that was probably the first time she ever got sick and it was only because I was sick and she was in my face. So I've never really had that issue with Kyra. Nowadays she has more like allergy problems and then if she does get sick, it's like a slight cold or something but it's not too often or she always talking about her stomach hurt or something like that. But this little boy here, he is like, the germiest like i don't understand like and i try to get him to wash his hands all the time and make sure you're covering your mouth when you sneeze or you cough or anything like i try to keep him as clean as i possibly can but now that he's in school i just feel like kids just they just catch anything that comes so i don't know he already was getting sick a lot so now that he's in school it's just like so yeah that's what's going on but last night was amazing last night was really nice it was definitely giving the halloween spirit it was definitely giving full vibes this is my time of year so i absolutely loved it it only was like a 40 minute walkthrough and i think they said you can stay up to like two hours on the website but yeah it was only like 40 45 minutes um you can pretty much stay as long as you like and I think we went at the right time, even though we was running a little behind time um, based on what we, the tickets that we had. But um, yeah, it was really nice. The, the, the craftsmanship, I mean, what? <laughs> I, first of all, I carve a pumpkin every year. Well, I've carved a pumpkin every year for like the last three years. And that pumpkin is no joke to carve, okay? So the craftsmanship of it all is just amazing to me. And I have to go and double check, but I know one of the promo videos, I don't remember if it was from this year or last year, said that there was only 12 carvers for about 7,000 pumpkins. That's crazy. But I'm not gonna hold you. Like when at the end of the trial, at the end of the trial, at the end of the trail, there was like a gift shop and they had pumpkins there. I guess 
if you wanted to get one, you can buy it. But they had the carver on site, like one of the carvers, and they were there carving pumpkins, like right there. So I'm like, I guess if you wanted to get a carved pumpkin from them, you could buy it. But I know that was going to be expensive because baby of course they try to rob you at the gift shops like why wouldn't they they always try to rob you at the gift shops like Kyra picked up a blanket like a throw or something I guess it was like a Halloween throw she was like oh my god I'm at this $55 I said girl if it's gonna be $55 it needs to cover the whole family on the couch okay not just one you or one me like it's not worth $55 so that was that um I wanted to get a keychain because it wasn't really too much I needed there was a lot of like recipe books and stuff but <sighs> but yeah the keychain the keychain was $15 I was like mm -mm, no we're not doing that so now you're wanted this um you know the book the little blue truck they had a Halloween edition so of course he wanted that that was only like $13.99 and then Kyra got these little um bat earrings that was made out of um it's like beads and fabric and I think that was like $13 $14 but yeah they be trying to rob you at the gift shops oh my god but um yeah it was a really really good experience and maybe next time we do it we'll go to the other location which I can't remember if it's in Jersey I know this is like a part of the Hudson Valley like company or association whatever so whatever but either way it was a really nice time and I'm glad I got to take the kids out and see that because we really enjoyed ourselves even though it was like a short time it was like a nice little short outing so yeah um today's agenda I just have to finish my laundry I did not get a chance to finish it this weekend because clearly I was doing a lot of cooking and baking and then I really didn't get a chance to really finish it yesterday because I got a late start and then we ended up going to the pumpkin blaze and stuff and you know all of that stuff so anyways that's gonna be pretty much what I'm finishing up today I don't think I really have anything else to do Kyra's still in school and I gotta go get her I don't know probably like an hour or so but um that's pretty much it so i think i'm gonna end this video here if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe go leave a comment down below turn on your bell notifications and also leave a thumbs up because that helps me and it helps the rest of the community so i will see you guys in my next vlog